never presented it to you, then you decide to use it as a weapon. Then you decide to use it as a weapon. Remember, if you keep on using it as a weapon, one day you're going to give account of it. Of course. Because once you are involved in marriage, your body is her body. Her body is your body. I hope you just understood what I just said. So you no longer own yourself. Now, when the excuses become legit, it is when it is satisfied, either you are ill and all Jerusalem cannot be penetrated. <music>
eat and clean out, eat and clean out. No, we're talking about those that has the license. Then, now my question is, why do coppers use love making as a weapon against each other in marriage? When it's supposed to be for one bonding, bonding. Do you guys really know the meaning of two becoming one? If you do not know, let me tell you. And before I tell you, are you driving and listening to me? Pack. Are you cooking? Go turn it off. Are you eating? Make sure you have water beside you. Yes. Do you want to use the restroom? Do that fast. How do they become one? If you know, as long as you're married, as long as you are in a marriage, it's no longer two, but one. Yet, it's no longer two, but one. Because when the two spirit meets, when there is a triumphant entry to the holy Jerusalem and to the mountains of holies, now two are becoming one. That is when a lot of things take place. Speaking in tongues take place. Yet, speaking in tongues takes, takes place, guys. Destinies are being changed. New contracts takes place. Now your possession is being claimed in all magnanimity. This is what happens when two becomes one. That is when healing that nobody can give to you. And natural healing takes place. Sicknesses are being cured. If you do not know. Know it now. That is why Mountain of Holies, Holy Jerusalem, is a very sacred place. Very sacred. It must not be used as a weapon. It must not be toyed with. When you keep using it against each other because of flimsy excuses, do not get me wrong. When I mean flimsy excuses, you that is listening to me, you know when you're giving excuses that are not there. You know when you're giving excuses. Now, when I mean flimsy excuses, you make up excuses. Oh, my toe is paining me. Oh, the headache has not gone away. Oh, I cannot because the back aches. Do the back really ache? Or maybe you asked for something earlier. He never presented it to you. Or maybe you asked for something earlier. She never presented it to you. Then you decide to use it as a weapon. Then you decide to use it as a weapon. Remember, if you keep on using it as a weapon, one day you're going to give account of it. Of course. Because once you are involved in marriage, your body is her body. Her body is your body. I hope you just understood what I just said. So you no longer own yourself. Now, when the excuses become legit, it is when it is satisfied, either you are ill, and whole Jerusalem cannot be penetrated. Either you are ill, and the doctor said, oh, abstain. And do you know it's same doctors? If the truth be told, they will tell you at times, Oh, okay, you're not sleeping well. You have to do this. Yet, you have to allow the visitation to take place so you can be healed. So, at times, you guys do not know the healing, the healing that is possessed. And when I mean, when I mean two spirits becoming one, if you do not know what you are into when you're married, which means you are a baby now, 
You have your spirit. He has his spirit. That is why when people leave their spouse and go outside to get fulfillment, you are bringing trouble to that marriage. Yet, you're bringing a demon into that marriage. Yet, you are. That is why we have to be careful. So please, I urge us that is listening to me. Yes. Thank you for listening. If you've listened up to this point, I hope you have gotten the message I'm trying to pass across. Do not use love making as a weapon. It is for bonding. It is for unity. It is to build a stronger marriage. And don't get me uh, wrong. Oh, uh, people will be saying, people might say, what is she talking about? Is it everybody? Is it every time somebody is in the mood? You know yourself. We know when we're giving excuses. Is he your brother? Or is he your sister? Huh? That is why it is an agreement. They have to be an agreement between both parties. So nobody ends up forcing his or herself on each other. But do not use it as a weapon. In a wrong way. But in the right way. So guys. Please. I need your thoughts in the comment section below. Not just because you want to comment. But let it be. That your comment is a comment that people are going to learn from. You must be. You must have something important to talk about before you comment. Please, guys. If you have any question, let me get that at the comment section below. I want to thank everybody at this junction. I don't want this video to be so long. That I've watched my video. That I've shared my video. And that have been with me up to this point. You know I love you, don't you? I know. You know I do. Okay, guys. Until I come your way. Do that. That makes you happy. And keep on strengthening, bonding, exploiting, and exploring your marriage in a right way. Bye guys.